What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Your host, Mr. LLC, here back with another one. So, uh, yeah, today we're going to test. We're going to test out our tuning barrel without and with the extension. And in it, like I said, we're going to be using the uh, rubber steel S-type balls in here. Got a fret. Two CO2s, one for each test, one for the without and one for the with. So let's go ahead, uh, get our CO2 put in. We'll get you turned around, aimed at the trap. We'll get some velocities and we'll compare against this. This is with uh, just a stock, stock barrel. No restrictor, no block, 18 joules with the rubber steel. So we're going to go off of that and we'll see what improvements we get. All right, so let's get turned around. All right, so uh, here we go. Now, last time we tested, I don't know if you remember, I think we damaged or blew the O-ring. I have yet to replace it because I don't have an extra. So we're going to see if it holds up uh, for this test. All right. So moment of truth. Oh, we got a little hissing. So we got to go quick. We're going for six. Four, one, four. The hissing stops. Where's my pen? I lost my pen. Okay. Four zero four. Three nine four. Three eight zero three seven two three three eight. Wow, that's a 40 FPS drop. Okay. All right. We got th that one done. Let's degas. Let's give the marker a little bit of time to uh, get up the temp. I'll reload. We'll get us a brand new CO2 and test again. Okay. We're back. Test two. We've got a brand new CO2 in. It's been about 10 minutes. And the garage here, we're sitting at about 70 degrees, in, 70 degrees Fahrenheit in the garage. All right, so we've got a fresh CO2. We've got the extension on the uh, tuning barrel. So we're going to go ahead and give that a try and see what velocities we get. At the end of that, we'll compare all three. Before the tuning barrel, the tuning barrel, and the tuning barrel with extension. So, press CO2. And again, I still think I have a leak in this uh, with this O ring, but we're going to go ahead and finish the test out anyway. No hiss. Okay, good sign. All right. Here we go. Four seven zero. Good night. Four six zero.
four five two. Four four four. Four three zero. And number six. Four one six. All right, we'll be back. All right, results time, results time, results time. Okay, so we started off just a regular stock steel barrel, no valve block, no restrictor, 18 joules, 378 FPSs. We installed the tuning barrel and run it without the extension. You saw the velocities we got. Let's compare the velocities here. Okay, this is, this is the math for here, but these are the velocities. So with that, we get a total of 2,302 feet per second. Divide by six to get the average of 383.6, so that's 384 feet per second. Not very impressive with a total of 19 joules. Uh, I might want to run that test in another video, but that's what we got today. We put the extension on the tuning barrel. Here's our velocities. Quite an increase across the board. You add those up all together, the 2672 by six to get the average. Look at that, 4453 compared to, what was that, 2302. Okay, so let's see here. 44. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, so divide by six to get the average of 445.3 feet per second. So, yeah, increase from 389. 445 feet per second, 25.62 joules. We got a 26 joule pistol with the extension. The first test without the tuning, without the extension on it, I don't know. I, I'm not sure. That number seems kind of odd, but I, I could be wrong. It could be right. I'll probably do that again in another video, but here's where we're sitting at. 26 joules. With the extension on the upgrade barrel. No valve block, no restrictor. 2.8 gram HDP 50 rubber steel balls. I call this one a success. All right. I think we're done. What are we going on? Almost 10 minutes. Yeah, I think we're done. All right, it's your host, Mr. LLC, telling you something is better than nothing. Keep you and your safe at all times. God bless and peace. Tuning barrel for the win. 26 jewels. See ya.